Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel sudotoolbox.com. Today we will try to deploy a microrig router OS into our um, ESXi VM which will be a cloud router and we will try to deploy something like this. Uh, we will deploy a cloud router and behind that cloud router we will set up few servers like for example uh, we will set up an email server with internal IP I mean private IP and there will be some future servers like anything uh, behind that router okay so the main purpose of this to utilize this one public IP address for multiple servers uh, serving through the same public IP address okay so let's get started First we will, uh, need to set up some configuration we need to do some configuration on VMware we need to make a virtual network for uh, we already have the public network uh, like we have a vSwitch 0 which is connected to the internet and a uh, few servers are already connected to internet via that virtual switch so we need another switch uh, for our internal uh, communication like for internal network so let's name it internal v switch internal v switch let's see so we have a internal v switch now We need to make a port group so let's make a port group internal internal network VLAN ID no need internal vSwitch so we have just created a virtual switch with uh, the internal switch and a port group which connected to that virtual switch okay okay now try to create our server what we will do is uh, we will go to Mikrotik uh, website and download uh, an OVA template uh, for cloud hosted router uh, you just go to microtik.com slash download and go for cloud hosted router you'll find a OVA template here I just downloaded this uh, into my PC already so let's try to create the uh, router machine select the deploy a virtual machine from OVA, uh, OVF or OVA file just name it microtik router you just need to drag and drop the file this is the OVA file next uh, it will ask for the disk from your data store definitely we will choose thin provision uh, network mapping initially uh, it will select one network uh, we will add another uh, network later on after deploy just finish it wait for a few seconds Yeah, it's done so the router has been deployed let's start it
yeah it's already started so let's uh, try to log in admin the default password is blank yeah we are logged in so no need to see the software license at all yeah we are ready to go so let's see the interfaces See, we have only one interface, so we will need another interface. So let's try to shut it down and add another uh, interface into that server, into the router. So try to modify it. Go to edit. The virtual uh, machine should be turned off before adding more network add network adapter and see uh, uh, it automatically uh, select the next available one so one we have connected with vm network and one we have connected with internal network okay now save it and turn it on again Yeah, we just logged in with the default password, so we should change it first before uh, configure the public IP address to this router. Because just after configuring this router with a public IP address, the router will be exposed to internet. And if you do not change the add blank as admin password, uh, your router could be hacked within a few seconds even. So just change the password first. What we'll do now is to add one user which will have the full privilege as like admin and we'll disable the admin user. So let's try to do this. We need to go to users. Let's say here only we have admin. So now add a new user. Add name equal to Fahad. Group equal to full password equal to something that I like and add it now we have two users so now we can disable the admin okay so now let's try to configure the IP addresses interface as we have added another interface now we have two interface so we will configure the ether1 as public facing interface now we will configure a public ip address so let's go to ip addresses add one ip address address equal to 103.17 181.77 this is just last within an address we need to select the interface with a one the IP address subnet class and the interface that's it so we have our address now we need to add the default gateway for this so we go to IP route we don't have any default gateway so add destination address 0 .0 0 .0 0 .0 slash 0 gateway is 103.17.121.73 so now we have a default gateway as well so now let's try to reach internet from router itself yes we are connected to internet so let's try to connect this router using winbox yes we are connected to the router 
using Winbox. So we have our public IP, and now let's try to configure the internal network as well. 10.10.10.1 slash 24. We'll select the other interface. So this will be our internal network. And now we can simply uh, do the mapping from here. That's it. In this video, we are not going to cover the server setup. See, as I said, uh, you will receive erroneous login item from various source. So, what the hacker is already trying to log in using Telnet. So, let's try to disable it. We don't need any Telnet. Even for SSH, we will change the port. Winbox is okay. Web could be okay. We don't need FTP either. Yeah. Admin is disabled and I, I have my own user. That's it.